have you ever had the you know the have you ever experienced right have you ever experienced doing a specific task and then automatically right after that you know you do another specific task and that that continues to go on for like you know it's like it's like a thing that you do a thing right like for another example like you're, you're listening to your you know a cd a radio track you know before when you had a cd songs were just you know you know that songs are are consistent you know because it's not randomized unless you choose to randomize but if you want to play the track like you know within a straight horizontal plane then when you're playing a song you know immediately like when the when the current song is almost just about to end you already know what this next song is going to be so yeah that's the, yeah josh v Castro here and in this hashtag project and minute video this 30 day challenge right which is you know uh again a project that I actually hone and 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 make my on-camera present skill, my presentation on camera, just a little bit better, all right? Just a little bit better. And, you know, by recording every day, by doing this, uh, that is part of the premise of this project. And you can also check out that video about what this is all about. But, you know, in today's topic, we're going to be talking about um, triggers or something that precipitates an action to continue to precipitate another action that will be prompted to trigger another action that it's basically in line with making a schedule all right i made a video on schedules uh but this is more more detailed more 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 in depth it's a it's a it's a tool that actually you may not realize like with the cd the, the with the music uh what do you say with the music example you know when the when the current song finishes you already know what the next song is going to be about and that that's really interesting because you know it tr it trains your mind to tell you that okay this is what's coming up next all right so if you apply the same concept to things like all right so for instance um brushing your teeth all right so you make like like in yesterday's video all right the two minute rule all right so uh we're gonna brush our teeth right immediately right after we brush our teeth we do facial care, right? You know, you, you scrub your face. And then after you do facial care, then, you know, you continue to go and change your clothes. All right. Then, you know, into your sleeping attire, your PJs, your pajamas. And then after that, you continue to read a book, right? And then, you know, that's your routine, right? This is basically uh, a video on routine. I guess we'll, ju we'll just name it routine. All right. All right. So, yeah. And then that's your routine. And then you've already inculcated that routine into your life. On a daily, daily basis, give or take, you miss a couple of times because of certain events that happen that is beyond our control. And yeah, it, it's awesome, right? So without knowing, you've already built up this routine that you follow without really putting up willpower. Because, you know, I made a video on willpower and, you know, the amount of willpower you have per day is actually limited in a sense. It's up to you. Uh, but the quality of which the outcome is also based on willpower so that's an interesting video and yeah so if you apply this concept on other things aside from you know mundane daily tasks like if we actually inculcate this into productivity like for instance you know the pomodoro technique i've probably made a video on the pomodoro technique by now uh it's probably up there and what that does it trains you to understand that or all right after 25 minutes, you're going to take a five-minute break. Within that five-minute break, you're going to relax, chill, go outside, do some, you know, some light exercise, drink some water. And then after that, five minutes is done, you go back and then you go be productive again. And it's more powerful if you actually set a schedule at a specific time when you do these so that your body remembers, okay, all right, time to get up. This is when I wake up. All right, this is when I work. Uh, this is when I'm about to finish working and then I can actually do leisure and, you know, I can reward myself for the hard work that I've done that I have accomplished and everything's good. Everything's all good, right? So, yeah, that is the powerful effect of having a routine. And again, if you, you know, if you practice this and the ideology of actually being more productive, then, you know, the possibilities are endless, and it's in a way that, you know, if you put your mind to it, you create a routine around your work schedule, 
right? And then you follow that routine, but maybe not to the dot, right? But you follow that routine, you'll highly be more efficient. That's the thing that we're going after here. Efficiency. Efficiency is amazing because you save time. I made a video on time. Time is more valuable than money because you can't get time back. You can't get money back, right? Like I said in that video, you know, the, the thing with time is, you know, if there's, 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 you're living in the moment and then if that moment is gone, you can't get that back, all right? So if you prioritize time over money, all right, we can also make the argument that, you know, if you use your time wisely, you can make more money. But if you use your money wisely, you can also buy more time. So it's like it, it's like there's this relationship, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about how a routine can trigger a lot of effects in your life that can actually make you more productive, make you more wealthy, make you more happy. And in general, just you know, have a life that you actually want to live, even though that we have to understand that you know, we have to have these burdens on us that will make us stronger. So there, ha there it's always about balance. It is always about balance and, you know, being a balanced creature is probably the best. I'm like, you can always excel at one thing, but, you know, at the sacrifice of other things. Like, you know, I, we can make an argument that, you know, there's there's lots of wealthy people out there that aren't happy because they sacrifice their wealth for happiness other way around, they sacrifice their happiness for wealth. And there are also those who sacrifice their happiness. I mean, sacrifice their wealth for happiness, which is probably more meaningful in a way. I'm like, they don't get to have everything they want, but at least they're contented. They're, you know, it's all, it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. If your contentment is met, then you're all good, right? And imagine, this all stems off from having a routine. So make a routine, you gorgeous, beautiful people. All right, have a schedule and then, you know, have these tasks that will set off different tasks. That is the premise of this video. It's not just about routines, okay? Routines are amazing, but, you know, it's more in-depth into routines. It's about a specific task that you want to do. Like, for instance, you pick up a pencil. You understand that you remember that when you pick up a pencil, um, you're going to walk the dog, right? See, See how far off that is? But if you do that enough times, it's called behavioral modification, I guess. All right, you could quote, don't quote me, I might be wrong. All right, this is from my understanding, but I like the term behavioral modification. So you modify your behavior, and then whatever happens next will be because of that specific action that you took initially. So, instance, all right, we got, we got a, we got a marker, right? You pick up a marker, you feed the cats, all right? You do that, you do that enough times every time you're writing and then or you need a marker to, to highlight something to make it bold on your notebook. And then, oh, I need to feed the cats. Even though you don't have to feed the cats, but it's like a reminder, okay, all right, time to feed the cats. So like I said, it's a trigger. So find triggers in your life that will actually trigger you to do other things. Like after you take a shower, you read a book. After... You brush your teeth, you drink 10 glasses of water, all right? I don't highly recommend that, but that's a thing. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this video useful, all right? Make a trigger, make a routine, make a schedule, and then everything will just cascade into awesomeness, and you will be an amazing you at the end of the day. All right, so yeah, we're already ending up at nine minutes. So hopefully you guys, again, found value out of this. That is always my objective here. If I'm wrong, please leave it in the comment section. And yeah, you take care, enjoy the day, and stay awesome and beautiful. All right, see ya. Bye.